Hey there, YouTube fam. Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the hottest and most fascinating insights from the world of finance. Today, we have a real treat for you because we'll be diving into the fascinating world of Visa, the global payment technology company that's changing the way we handle money. Get ready to have your mind blown with some incredible stats and figures. Let's jump right in. So, what do those numbers mean? Let's break it down. First up, we have PRTTM, which stands for Price to Earnings Ratio Trailing 12 Months. It's currently at 30.56. This figure helps investors understand how much they're paying for each dollar of earnings. A lower PR ratio generally indicates a more favorable valuation. Now, let's move on to PRFWD, which is the Price to Earnings Ratio Forward. It's sitting at 23.38. This figure provides investors with an estimated future PR based on projected earnings. A lower PR FWD suggests a potentially undervalued stock. Next up, we have PG, the price-slash-earnings-to-growth ratio, which currently stands at 2.09. PG combines the PR ratio with the expected growth rate. A value around 1 is considered favorable, indicating a reasonably priced stock relative to its growth prospects. Now, let's talk about the company's profitability. Visa's return on equity, ROE, is an impressive 45%. ROE measures how effectively a company generates profits from shareholders' investments. Moving on, we have return on assets, ROA, at 18.1%. ROE tells us how efficiently a company utilizes its assets to generate profits. Visa's ROA suggests it's making the most of its resources. Let's shift our focus to earnings per share, EPS. Visa's EPS currently stands at 7.49. EPS represents the portion of a company's profit allocated to each outstanding share of common stock. It's an important metric for investors to gauge profitability. Looking ahead, Visa's EPS next five years is projected to grow at an incredible rate of 14.65%. This suggests that Visa's earnings per share are expected to rise significantly over the next five years. Now, let's talk about dividend yield. Visa offers a dividend yield of 0.79%. Dividend yield is the annual dividend payment as a percentage of the stock's current price. It's an attractive feature for income-seeking investors. In the case of Visa, it has gone from paying 35 cents in 2013 10 years ago to paying $1.58 in 2022. Moving on, we have the operating margin, which currently stands at a remarkable 63.5%. This figure represents the percentage of revenue left after deducting operating expenses. A high operating margin indicates efficient cost management. Profit margin is another crucial metric, and Visa boasts a whopping 50% profit margin. This figure represents the percentage of revenue that translates into profit. It's a testament to Visa's strong business model. Now, let's take a look at Visa's profits and income over the past five years. And guess what? It's been nothing short of positive. Visa has experienced consistent growth in both profits and income, which is fantastic news for investors. Looking at the market performance, Visa's average price return over the last 52 weeks has been a solid 6.39%. This indicates that investors who held Visa's stock for the past year have seen a positive return on their investment. Finally, let's talk about market capitalization. Visa's market cap is an astounding $464.13 billion. Market cap represents the total value of a company's outstanding shares. Visa's large market cap showcases its dominance in the payment technology industry. And there you have it, folks. We've just scratched the surface of the incredible financial statistics surrounding Visa. From their impressive profitability to their projected growth, Visa seems to be firing on all cylinders. It's no wonder they're a global powerhouse in the payment technology sector. It's important to remember that these numbers provide valuable insights but they are just a part of the larger picture. Before making any investment decisions, it's crucial to conduct thorough research and consider other factors such as industry trends, competitive analysis, and the company's overall strategy. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more fascinating financial insights, 
don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. And as always, let us know in the comments what other companies or financial topics you'd like us to cover next. Until then, stay curious and keep exploring the world of finance.